not believe how annoyed I am. I made this video. This is probably my this is my third time and I started at 10:45. I cannot believe that it wouldn't save. This is so annoying. It's better be the last time I make this same video three times. All right, here we go. This is in relation to a student question about question two of exercise 1e composite functions, the worksheet. Okay, so uh, what you're trying to find here is you're trying to find what does f of g of 2 is and what is g of f of 2. The question is, what does that mean? What are you actually trying to find? That's, that's the first step, yeah? So when you write f of g of 2, I guess what you're really trying to say there is whatever g of 2 is, find out f of that answer, okay? And then that gives you the answer that you want. So if you think of it as a composite function, you obviously have to have g of x first because that's where you're going to get your g of 2, right? Because when you substitute x equals 2 into it, you will get g of 2. That's what it spits out. You put a x equals to uh, x equals 2 and then you put into the g of x function, you get g of 2. Whatever that g of 2 is, you are now going to throw that into f of x. And obviously what that spits out is f of whatever g of 2 is. So the question is, well, what is g of 2 equal to? And that's where the information that they've given you, you're meant to sort of use it like a puzzle and sort of figure it out. So here they're saying, if you have the machine f of x, if I substitute x equals 2 into it, I should get out the value of 6, which is really f of 2 should equal to 6, right? Whereas in the other part, they tell you that if you have a g of x function and you substitute x equals 6 into it, what it should spit out is a g of 6, which they tell you is equal to 3. Okay, And then similarly, they tell, tell you that if you substitute now 9 into the f of x function, so if I put a 9 into it, then I'm actually finding f of 9, which actually gives you 8. And then similarly, if I substitute now, um, was it x equals 2 into g of x, then I should get g of 2, which is equivalent to 9. And conveniently, that now tells me that g of 2 should equal to 9. So if this is 9 now, what I'm actually really saying here is then I'm going to take 9 and put it into f of x. And f of x where if you substitute 9 into it, so this is the case here, you're substituting 9 into the machine and you should be getting a result of 8. So technically, this is the same thing as saying f of 9 since g of 2 is 9. And f of 9, you know, it's equal to 8. Okay, so the answer for the first part here, f of g of 2 should equal to 8. And similarly, if you do the same thing for this one, you've got g of f of 2 and similarly you're really just saying well what's f of 2 equal to uh, and they already told you here and they said the f of 2 is equivalent to 6 so uh, really you're actually just finding g of 6 but then they already told you as well that g of 6 over here g of 6 is equivalent to 3 so the answer there would have to be 3 okay so though I didn't teach this uh, example really it's a uh, exercise uh, 2a, I mean 1a, you're really just reading the notations. That, that's what you're actually doing there. You're reading how to um, understand what the question's asking. So really in the first four parts here, they're giving you a coordinate and now they're asking you to find a coordinate within the coordinate. Yeah, or reading composite functions. Yeah, it's my third time saying, I feel like I'm jinxing it, but I'm saying it again. Happy Valentine's Day and let's hope that this now saves the video. Here we go.